Hey, welcome back, dancers. This is Sarah, the author of the Accidental Artist Ballet blog. I'm a ballet teacher, and I'm going to discuss and share with you ideas about cycling your feet. Now, how many of you struggle with that? Everybody that's in dance has struggled with that correction. Don't sickle your feet. We're going to look at, in a new challenge, along with other dance professionals, about how to improve sickling feet in a myriad of positions. Maybe it's a tendu, a dégagé, a posse, a jump. How many of you can sickle your feet in changement? I know I have. I know that that's a problem. How about one foot that sickles more than another? or arabesque, or you just want to improve your line, or how about you roll out on point, or you roll in on point. Let's learn what sickled feet means. Here's a little glimpse of what's coming up. Okay, we're here today to talk about sickling. One of the things I like to do when I first introduce a student to the bar is have them stand in parallel, and if my student will just go up to demi point and then make sure that their shin is aligned to the center line of their foot down to their second toe. This is good, but she goes like that, we're rolling out, we're called supination, and in is combination. So especially in point class, we often go one, two, and we look at the way the foot is on the shoe. You don't have to have me in. That's <laughs> oh. okay, it doesn't matter. And up. Um, because I went to a Pacific Northwest Ballet teaching seminar and they call it the art of point. I love that idea. And they have the beginning point students do this facing the mirror. I know we talked about that probably in the summer intensive. I think I brought that up. But just that we get used to, so when we rise up, we don't supinate or roll, sickle in or out, we can loosely say. So when we go out to turn out, we have a better chance of feeling those lines through our leg. Now, also for a beginner, if they tend to sickle in a tendu, like that, right? Ugh. So we have to present the whole leg line forward, get tall out of that leg, and present the heel forward So for a beautiful, beautiful place. But say, say some people tend to overpoint their foot or wing. We don't, definitely don't want to wing. We want to play, but sometimes point, people point so hard. Could you show Haley if you point so hard that your foot started to go like a banana foot? Yeah, <laughs> go a banana foot. That's sickling, definitely not good. So we some people have to actually relax a little bit and then just feel the stretch across the top of the foot. Another way is to go to sur le coup de pied. Yeah, and they get really tall, and then it's naturally in the good shape. Would you mind demonstrating um, Tony Wallace Cone from there? Or just go wrap, wrap, and extend. Yeah, then we've got that heel already placed naturally through there. And then, because we love PBT here, here's a, one of my favorites. Besides Marie's attitude du vent eradication of sickling on the ball, besides that one, <laughs> that one that I think is really helpful, would you mind showing us? We just have our feet parallel, because I really, really feel it parallel is so helpful for everything. She just goes up and does the same thing. And then she's trying to root her six bones, so we're getting a whole body workout, really, not just the feet. But the one that's super, super good, I found, is the one on releve. And it's very difficult and challenging, but not impossible. Right, so that the foot doesn't roll in. Let me see here a little bit. Ooh, so if you're the center, and you've got a little tripod, boop, boop, there's your usual tripod. But on demi point, I add a third dot, the second toe, because I think it's so important. 